Hello everybody, uh, it's Sully and I am back with um, a new project I made. Um, I made an exploding box and I used the um, uh, tutorial by Dawn's Inspirations and I will link that um, and her website um, down below in the little doohickey. And um, to use this, I, or to make this I used uh, 12 by 12 cardstocks that I got on sale and the remains of what was left of my Once Upon a Time stock by DCWB that I had made a, a previous album with. <clears throat> so, exploding box. Um, I tried to, because it's a story theme paper, I tried to make the box tell the story. So um, for the front, I did the Once Upon a Time. Um, I just did this butterfly sticker um, that I got at Michael's, a little bling swirl here and a flower with a little um this was a charm but I cut the top of the charm off like the little round thing off and uh, hot glued that in there and then on the sides it says there lived a handsome prince and um and then uh, far far away on the outsides of the box and then you Exploding box. Oh. Um, okay, I'll try to get this all in frame. I actually use my phone to make these videos because I don't have a camera. <laughs> so I'll try to get this all in frame. Um, so it's just this 12 by 12 piece cardstock. I rounded the edges and then on the insides of these folds, you can see I used EK Success stamping with bronze ink in there to do swirls and I did that on both sides. And then for the edges here, these edges, first I rounded them with this and then I did the Martha Stewart corner punch and this um, and this EK success stamp came from a little package that I bought and you open it up and it's got you know the castle and I didn't decorate anything because these are all photo mats because um, this is the album itself so I didn't put anything on here that would make it not lay right or be difficult to open or close or anything like that because these are all photo mats so this one is the fairies and the castle and then all the tags have the same paper and they look like this. And then on the back there's just a floral print there. And then these tags are the unicorn. Here's the unicorn or the pegasus and here's his wings and then a um, little swirl there, little swirl there. And all of these tags, these ones have um, the crown print on the front and then they have journaling and stamping on the back there. And they all look like that. And to do the stamping I used, um, good journaling stamps are actually kind of hard to find, I have noticed. Um, so I use this, um, it is in Recollections and then of course the block that it's, the, the acrylic block that it sticks to. And then that little decoration that actually fit perfectly like with the point with the peak there um, is a little EK success structure block and they all look like that because I wanted to add a little bit of journaling in here because I figured why not and if they don't want to journal they can stick a photo on it and then you open or you, these all come back up and the story underneath of these ones you got your fairies and your pegasus and then the story underneath of these ones is there lived a beautiful princess see and then her hair <laughs> little Rapunzel so that's it it's very simple um, I was actually surprised at how easy this was to make and it really didn't take me that long the only reason it took me two days was because I work full-time and so that was the only reason it took me a little bit of time because I have to get up so so early because my commute is insane um, so that's it. That's my Once Upon a Time Exploding Box. Um, I really enjoyed making this um, project, and I would recommend it for anybody. It's really not hard. Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, Dawn's Inspirations, her uh, tutorial is great. Um, and then if you go to her website as well, which I will also link, she has everything written out, like all the measurements and stuff. It's really very simple to make. It's not difficult. 
um, and it's not hard. And they come out super, super cool. Like, they're so cute. I didn't do anything on the bottom. I should put my... I don't have a logo yet. I should make one on the bottom. But they're just... Like, that is so cool. How is that not cool? But anyway, that's what I made today. And I will definitely be making more of these. Um, and the awesome thing about this was it didn't use up so much paper that it used up an entire stack. Um, I had actually made a, a previous album, which is on my YouTube channel, with the same paper stack. And I still have paper left. So this is great. I love it. And it's awesome. So I hope everybody enjoys it. Um, I hope you decide to make your own and use her tutorial and um, I will see everybody with my next project. Bye!